the law back in the pit, so what you call it? I got a law back in the Instagram. What up, peeps? How you doing? I just go, I'm gonna go get something. Um, I need a blender and a food processor. Hold on. Up. Think it's got to be all put together. It don't have to be. It really don't have to be. All right. What up, bitch? Hi. All right. What's up, people? What's up, everybody? Hope you guys come on in here and join the party. The vegan party, that is. Come on in here and join the party. It's a party, uh, uh, having a good time. Hi, everybody. Day five in the building. Y'all still hanging with us? Or y'all done gave up? Huh? Y'all still hanging with us or you done gave up? Which one is it? You hanging or you done gave up? What you doing? Huh? You with us or no? All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a vegan lasagna. All right. Now we're going to try this cheese. We're going to try this cheese out. I don't know how this cheese is going to work out. Okay? I don't know. But we got some cheese. We're going to put some on top. It's vegan cheese. We're going to see if the vegan cheese melt. I don't know. But we're going to see. All right? So let me show you what I got for us. Because you can't really have a, you can't really have no lasagna without some bread to dip it in. Alright. We eating vegan. Let me just ain't got no, no milk and nut. Nope. Mm -mm. See look. Enriched flour. Uh water, salt, sugar, soybean oil, and yeast. Alright? No egg, no milk product in here. So this one we all good on. Alright. Um the cauliflower, you got to use that because the cauliflower is going to be the meat substitute. I, I got, don't worry. I know what you're saying, but there is cauliflower ain't got no flavor. Don't worry. We're going to put a lot of flavor in here, okay? Don't you worry about that, all right? You just stick with me and let me bless you, okay? Also, to make this good, we got some, this is vegan cream cheese, Okay? This is vegan cream cheese. Do I need some of that? I got some more vegan butter because I ran out. Go figure. Of the one I had. And the diced tomatoes. We're going to need that. All right. Look at this here. Look at this. Okay. Oven ready lasagna. Okay. What are the ingredients at? Okay. Semolina. Drum wheat flour, water, that's it, okay? This is completely vegan, you can have this. This you're gonna be all right with, okay? We ain't gonna worry about too much of that because we're gonna put that in. And those, you don't even have to boil, okay? We're gonna make us a little piece of salad to go with. We're gonna make us a little piece of salad to go with our, with our stuff, okay? Look, I got fresh basil, fresh basil. And I'm lazy, so I got the onion, bell pepper, celery already chopped. Cause I figured if they didn't want me to chop it, it wouldn't be. If they wanted me to chop it, it wouldn't be available. So it's, it's available. So that's that. All right, this. I want to make sure you guys are getting the recipes and stuff. So make sure you go to. Um, the Facebook page. Or the Facebook group, okay? It's called Vegan But With Soul. And I want you to join the Facebook group so we can cook and have a good time. All right? I'm looking for a knife. Hold the line, please, while I find something to cut this over. I got something. All right? So you can join us. All the fun is at Vegan But With Soul on um, Facebook.
Facebook, okay? So join us on Facebook. We have us a good time. Vegan but with soul in the Facebook group, okay? Now, if you also want to grab the recipes um, and the shopping list and stuff, like earlier, I emailed y'all the shopping list, didn't I? Did y'all get the shopping list I emailed earlier? Hmm? Hmm? I emailed you the shopping list earlier. Did you get the shopping list I emailed this afternoon? Okay. See, you got it, huh? You got the shopping list. See, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for you, okay? If I'm trying to tell you. I am here. You got the shopping list. Okay, good. So the shopping list will get you what you got to get you where you got to go. Okay? Yeah, vegan but with soul. Okay? Shopping list. Okay, look, on the stove is a skillet. I'm gonna put me a little oil in my skillet. Okay, put a little oil in here. Because the idea. Now look. We got fresh vegetables, okay? With these fresh vegetables, you really got to do the work on these fresh vegetables. Because if you want to taste like something. So what we're going to do is develop the flavor on the vegetables, okay? So look, I'm going to put in, this is chopped bell pepper, chopped celery, and chopped onion, okay? Bell pepper, chopped celery, chopped onion, ready to go, okay? We're going to drop this in the oil. All of it. I want you to put all that in there. Okay. Then I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this uh, garlic in here too. Okay. This is about five cloves of garlic. Garlic. Bell pepper, celery, onion. You can't use that. I mean, that's easy. You can't really go wrong with that. Can you? Look, you can't really go wrong with that. Okay, bell pepper, celery, onion. As soon as you put this in the pan, it's gonna smell good. Let me get some, um, a few more things. A few more things that we need. Hold on, let me grab some, some seasonings. I should have had this out already, but you know, hey. You know me. Okay, all right. We're gonna season this right now the thing is is that if you start seasoning now and you create layers of flavor as you go the food gonna taste like something okay so we're gonna put in some salt of the earth and we got this ground black pepper of the spirit okay we got the spirit and the earth okay and this is the truth because those who worship him must worship him what? That part, okay? All right, here we go. I'm gonna put a little bit of red pepper flake in here. All right? And then I got a little bit of Italian seasoning. Now, the red pepper flake, if you don't like it that spicy, don't put that much spice in it, okay? If you don't want it to be spicy, I just think a little spice kitchen. You see? It ain't going to be spicy. It's going to give it some personality. So I think that's going to be good. All right, look. In here we're going to put some of that Italian, the Italian seasoning. This has the um, basil, the rosemary, uh, the thyme, the oregano, all mixed in. So one-stop shop if you ask me. Okay? Now this is ground fennel seed. So we got ground fennel, we got red pepper flake. We got Italian seasoning, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Okay? That's what we got. Okay? Now, we put that in to start. Because really what you want to do is start developing the flavor early on. Okay? And we're going to saute that together real good. And whatnot. Okay. Now, this ain't gonna have no real meat. This is gonna have cauliflower meat. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna open this cauliflower up and we're gonna go rinse it off real good. Okay. This 
I don't like using like the soy meat and all that. I don't like that. Give me real products or I'm not eating it, okay? Let me just, okay, we're gonna peel off. It's got a lot of leaves. Okay, this how it grow. This is how you know it's really good for you. It's got all this green stuff on here. You pull all this off. Don't do that, okay? All right, now let me go rinse this. Hold on. The reason I ain't cut it yet is I want to rinse it. Okay, I rinse this, and I'm going to burn these vegetables up. Hold on. Put a little more oil in here. Okay, please do not burn up the vegetables. Look at this. See, look. You see that? Onion, bell pepper, celery. I'm going to tell you what this smell like. The Holy Ghost. Okay? I'm going to tell you what this smell just like. The Holy Ghost. The garlic is in here. Okay? You let that cook. Let that cook. Let that caramelize real good. That's going to really season this up real nice. Okay? All right, put that back on the stove. And you put all them other herbs and spices in there. Okay, now we're gonna cut this cauliflower a little bit. Because the cauliflower is gonna be the meat. Okay, don't worry, I got a trick for you. I got a trick for you, got a trick for you. All right, now listen, I want you to join our Facebook group. That's where all the fun happens, okay? Join our, oh, this is a little light skin, huh? I'm sorry, Facebook. This is a little light skin. You don't really be able to see this that good. What if I cut the light off? Let me see if that works. It might be too dark, huh? Let me see. Oh. Oh. No, you can't. I'm sorry. I, it's too dark on the, on the side. The Facebook is so dark, though. I mean, so light. Sorry, Facebook. It's too light over here. Okay, so we're gonna cut the cauliflower up to resemble a little piece of like, this is ground beef. Okay, we're gonna cut the cauliflower up so that the cauliflower can resemble ground beef. Okay, so look, you take the cauliflower you just wash. Okay, if you got four mica countertops, don't do this. Okay, and you're gonna put the cauliflower in the pan with the onion, the bell pepper, the celery, the seasonings, and the olive oil, okay? And you stir this together. Now see, look at that. Okay, you see that? I'm trying to tell you. You, you see this? Now you could, you could buy the cauliflower already done. But you know what they do is they mark the price up. So if you buy the cauliflower already cut up like this, already cut into little pieces, that's gonna cost you a lot of money, okay? It's gonna cost you a lot of money. And I don't want you to spend that much money. It didn't take us but, it didn't take us but two seconds. You see what I'm saying? It didn't take us that long to do this. It didn't take us but two seconds to cut this up. You can buy it already cut. That's like $8. The whole cauliflower is like $3. You see what I'm saying? You be the judge. Okay? You be the judge. Now, we're going to watch that. And now we got to make us, we got to make a bechamel. We're getting fancy. We're getting fancy. Okay? We're gonna make us a bechamel real fast. Okay? I just gotta, a, I'm gonna I'm try to do this and, and swing it around so you can see. This is a, a skillet, a pot. Now this, it's a pot, not a skillet, it's a pot. Please don't inbox me talking about it's a, it's, I know it's a pot. I said the wrong thing. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, I think that I like. Here's the thing, okay? If we don't make this vegan, I'm not gonna work all day, come home and eat vegan food that don't taste like meat. Okay? This vegan food got to taste like something. Okay? So, 
Oh, and the reason there's no cocktail, I got to get up tomorrow and go to the conference again. I'm sorry. Sorry. I got to be the adult. I got to get up in the morning early. They, they started like 8 o'clock, so I can't, I can't drink tonight. So we ain't going to have no liquor tonight. Now, tomorrow night, tomorrow night, holla at your boy. Okay, for the bechamel, we're going to put some vegan butter in the bottom of this skillet. Okay? Now, the bechamel is going to be equal parts butter and equal parts flour. Okay? Meanwhile, look at this. See? We're going to let this cauliflower cook up and absorb. See, if the cauliflower absorb all that flavor, it can't taste bad. Okay? Once the cauliflower cook down and absorb all that flavor, that can't, that, you can't see what you got to do, the butter starts to melt a little bit, you mix in the, the flour, okay? That's called a roux. R-O-U-X. Okay, that's called a root. Okay, so I'm going for a blonde root. Blonde root means you just cook it a little bit. That's, you just cook it a little bit. See this? This is a little cooked. Okay, if you was making gumbo, you got to go longer than this. But we're not making gumbo there. We're making a roux for our bechamel. So we're just going to do this a little bit. Now this is vegan half and half. I was going to show you the packaging. I was going to show you the packaging. But I don't have no check. So when they give me a check, I'll show you the package. Okay, I'm going to put the vegan half and half into, this is made from peas. On this, all right? In here, with the cauliflower and the onion and the garlic and the bell pepper, I got some tomato. So I'm going to dump in a good tablespoon-ish, okay, of tomato paste. That probably was more than a tablespoon. That definitely was more than a tablespoon. But there's no such thing as the, the, the tomato paste police. So we really ain't got to worry about it, okay? All right. Now look. The bechamel don't take long. Watch it. Don't call nobody. Don't get on the phone. Don't watch Will of Fortune. Don't do Jeopardy. Don't play Candy Crush. Because your bechamel... This is it. It's done. Okay? Look at this. Look at this. You see that? Hold on. You see that? That's it. That's all it takes to make the bechamel. But this don't taste like nothing yet. So put a little salt in here. Okay? Put your little pepper. And we need some garlic. Here you go. Put your little garlic powder in here. A little garlic powder. Okay. And put your little Italian seasoning. A little Italian herb. Put that in there. Okay. Now, your bechamel look like something. Look at this. It look like something now. Okay. Nice and thick and creamy. Okay. It look like something. And it tastes like something. Okay, this is what you want to see on your bechamel. Okay, this is all creamy vegan bechamel. Okay, we're going somewhere with this. Stay tuned. I got something for you. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you got to stir this tomato paste around because you got to bring out the sweetness in the tomato paste. You have to do that. Okay. So we're going to stir the tomato paste around a little bit. Now look at that. See how that's starting to turn colors on you a little bit? See how it's starting to turn colors on you a little bit? You wouldn't know this is vegan, though. Unless somebody told you. Okay, put that back on the stove. I need a little, I need a little red wine. Let me find, I got to find a little piece of red wine. I got some right here. Okay. You know, a little piece of red wine, please. Make sure you get a red wine that's vegan. Uh, 
it wasn't charged. You ever go through this last time? Oh, I got one though. Look at God. Look at God. See, the devil will always try to stop you, won't he? The devil will always try to stop you. Okay? Yes, this is a vegan red wine. Most red wines are vegan. Just be careful because sometimes they put them in casings and they cure them. They, they age them. They ferment them and uh, rent it. So just be careful. If you can find one that's vegan, find one that's vegan, okay? Everything here is plant-based, all right? So a little vegan red wine. Couple of splash. All right. Can of tomatoes. Can of tomatoes. This ain't that hard, doc. This is not that difficult, okay? We're gonna put the can of tomatoes in there with the red wine. Put the tomatoes in with the onion, the garlic, and the cauliflower, okay? Here we go. Can of tomatoes right in here. Okay? Let me get rid of this. Give me one second. I wish I had a can of crushed tomatoes somewhere. Normally I do be having them. But in this case, I guess I don't. You know what I'm looking for? I don't see nothing. Oh, look at God. Oh, look at God. Woo! You know what I thought I didn't have? Is a can of crushed tomatoes. So, a lot, I'm telling you, the Lord come through for me every time. It's the devil. The devil will try to block you from succeeding. But I got to tell you something. Every single time, the Lord come through, okay? This is a can of crushed tomatoes. So you got those canned tomatoes, those dice, those crushed tomatoes. Okay, and we're gonna give this a stir. Okay, now, just like you would normally do with a, to with a uh, tomato sauce like this, we gotta put a little sugar in here. Now listen. Please do not inbox me about this sugar in this sauce. Please, I do not want to hear your mouth about the sugar in the sauce. If you don't like putting sugar in your spaghetti sauce, don't put no sugar in your spaghetti sauce, okay? But as for me and mine, we're gonna put a little sugar, okay? Please do not inbox me about this sugar. We're just gonna put a little bit. more. That's all we're going to put. Okay. There's a little sugar in here. Because that's all you need. We're going to let this heat through. All right. A little more salt. I got a little garlic powder. And I got a little pinch of onion powder. Hello, we done. Okay, now we done. Let me show you what we got, because I know some of y'all don't believe me when I tell you about this sauce. Let me show you what we got for this sauce. Okay, now this is the tomato sauce, the vegan tomato sauce with the cauliflower that we just made, and it smells amazing. Completely vegan, look at this. Look at, can you see this? Huh? Do you, can you see this? All right, come on somebody. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? What you say I can't hear? What you say I can't hear? Do you see how this goes? Okay. Now I just 
just think we ought to taste it. I just think we ought to taste it just to make sure it tastes all right. I just think we ought to dig our spoon in here and give us a little taste so we can make sure it tastes good. Huh? Let's see. I think we ought to dip another spoon in here just to make sure the second spoonful tastes good. What you want me to do? Okay? I mean, I don't know what you want me to do. It tastes amazing. Okay? It tastes amazing. You serve that, I bet you won't know it's vegan. Okay, I'm gonna put this in a cast iron skillet. Cause I'm gangster like that. Okay, we're gonna put some filling on the bottom. I mean some sauce on the bottom. Okay, now if you wanted to fill this with mushrooms or uh, collard greens or something like that, you, you could do that, okay? I'm going to keep this very simple. All right? I'm going to keep this very simple. I'm going to put the lasagna sheets in here. Now, this is going to be a very rustic-looking um, lasagna by the time we're done. This ain't got to be pretty. It's got to taste good. Okay? All right? This ain't got to be that pretty. It's got to taste good. Okay, we're going to put a little bit more sauce on top of the noodles like this here. Hold on. Let me show you something. Okay, let me show you something. Then we're gonna take some of that bechamel that we made. Huh? We're gonna take some of that bechamel. Oh, it's got a little thick on me. Hold on. Hold on, I got it. It got a little thick on me. Hold on, let me, let me thin it out a little bit. You know, you let it sit too long. Okay, we're back to normal. Come on, bechamel. We're back to normal. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna dial up. This is the bechamel with the garlic, the salt, the pepper. We're just going to dial up some of the bechamel in the middle like this here. Okay? So you, so when we dig in, we get that creamy effect down at the bottom of that. Okay? Come on. We got to put some more. This right here. This is lasagna sheets. You just break them up and put them on top. Just get them on there. Okay, who would have thought? Lasagna, vegan, okay? Come on, we're gonna do a little bit more of this sauce. Sauce is amazing. With the red wine, okay. The last of the bechamel. Okay, the last of the bechamel. Look at that. After the bechamel, okay? I'm going to top one more layer with the noodles. Okay, this is oven ready. You don't have to boil these. It makes your life so much easier. Okay, now to finish this off, I need everybody who the Lord is not mad with and you believe in the power of prayer to bow your head and let's pray right now. All right, everybody, we're going to have corporate prayer. Okay, we finna have corporate prayer. If this is your first time having corporate prayer, it's all right. It won't be your last time. Okay, let me just put a little more sauce on here. Okay, here we go. Y'all ready? I need you to get somewhere quiet. I need you to focus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, it's us, your humble servants. Dear Lord, we just trying to do right because it's the beginning of the year. And we're trying to jumpstart in January. Uh, we're trying to make good meals that taste like something. Cheese. But I know I got thousands of people watching me. And dear Lord, I need this vegan cheese that I picked up to melt and taste like something. Uh, I ain't opened it up yet, Lord, because I was waiting uh, for an invitation. But since this is the time to do it, 
Please let this cheese taste like something. Uh, if you could let this cheese taste like real cheese. Let this cheese uh, be in me that is also uh, in you right now for your glory. These blessings we ask right now. Oh, Lord, and while we eat it, let the cheese melt real good on top and look good. Huh? You said if we cast our cares on you for you. These blessings we ask in your, your uh, son's name. Your son that was spent some time in Rome. That's Italy, Lord, where they make lasagna. Uh, please let your Italian, half Italian son, in your half Italian son's name, we pray. Amen. Okay, come on. We got to pray first. We got to pray about this thing. If you you got to pray about this thing, y'all. That's what Paul was. Huh? What was Paul? Paul wrote two thirds of the New Testament in Rome. Let this cheese be in you, Lord, that is also in me. Okay, I'm going to taste it. I'm going to taste it. Oh, I, put, I took two slices. You can't be greedy. Take one. Okay? It don't, it don't really bend like cheese, though. Oh, it don't bend like cheese at all. It sure don't bend like it. It cut real clean. The cheese, I know, got some grooves with it. This here got some... It cut real clean. I don't know what's in this. Let me see. I'm scared. Woo! What's going to be in here, Lord Jesus? What's in this vegan cheese? Lord, let this cheese taste good. Lord, I pray for a craft anointing right now in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Lord, I need you to send down every milk anointing right now. Let it rest, rule, abide henceforth and forevermore. Let the spirit of Sargento into the room right now, God. Please, sir. let the spirit of Sargento come in. But we welcome you. Yes, we do. All right. Woo. Woo. Here we go. Y'all ready? All right. I'm doing this for y'all, okay? I'm doing this for y'all. Here we go. <laughs> okay, here you go. Let me see. I'm gonna be honest. I was a little nervous. I'm going to be honest. That's what happens when you pray. See, the problem is your cheese don't taste good because you didn't pray. It tastes like real cheese. It tastes like real cheese. Now, let's, put it on, let's put it on top of here and see if it melts. This one got, it got even got little holes in it. It do snap. It got a little snap back to it. It got a little snap back. It don't taste bad, though. I was nervous at first. Is it supposed to melt though? Let me see. Oh, it's made with good stuff. Coconut oil, filtered water, potato starch, smoked flavor, olive extract. Oh, no wonder. It's made with good stuff. It's made with good stuff. Okay, this ain't that bad. See, look at y'all. Y'all was nervous. I ain't gonna lie. So was I. Okay, so we got the cheese on top. The vegan cheese. You can pray on it first, please. Okay, they go in the oven. And that's going to cook up. Whew, the Lord saved me on that one, child. Oh, I was nervous. I need every star gentle spirit to come through right here. That wasn't too bad. Oh, you know, I'm supposed to put the cream cheese on there. I supposed to have put the cream cheese dollop it. Oh, we forgot. That's all right. Next time. Next time. Okay, come on. Let's do this with bread real fast while that's going. All right. Now, listen. Let me just reset real fast. Hi, everybody. Hi. Yeah, I was nervous. Hey, everybody. If you're just joining us, we are making um, 
vegan food. And um, <laughs> this is day five of going vegan. So we're trying new things. We're making a vegan lasagna that's made from with cauliflower, okay? Cauliflower, a little bit of red wine. So if you're just joining us, what we did was we sauteed onion, bell pepper, celery, and garlic, and olive oil. Then we threw in our cauliflower and some, um, yeah, no meat. It's vegan, sis, no meat. All right, that's what vegan means, okay? I didn't make it up. I'm just telling you what it means. So then inside, we put the, um, the tomato paste, and then we deglaze the pan, all right, with some red wine, and then we put in crushed tomato and chopped tomato, all right? Now listen, uh, we put that on, let that cook down, we layered it with the, uh, pasta, with the lasagna noodles, and then we made a bechamel sauce. The bechamel was, we used a uh, vegan half and half, a little, we did all that, okay? Now listen, I got a special announcement for you. I got a special announcement for you. All right, here we go. The Vegan But With Soul Cookbook is now available for pre-order, okay? The Vegan But With Soul Cookbook is now available for pre-order, okay? Watch this. Hold on. One second, watch this. If you use the discount code, the discount code is above the number 701-D-O-T-C-O-M.com, above 701.com, all right? You can save 20% right now with the Vegan But With Soul cookbook, all right? We got the printed version and the e-version, all right? E-version will be out in a couple days. The printed version uh, take a little longer to come, but it's coming, okay? It's coming, all right? Now, join our Facebook group, Vegan But With Soul, or get the recipes by going to DariusCooks.tv, people, all right? And they're all yours. Okay, now we did this the other day, but we're going to do it again today because, you know, this is what we do. This is what we do. All right, we're gonna make some toast. Matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do on this bottom oven? Is I'm gonna broil the toast. Hold on, let me put the broil on. Broil, stop, okay? So we're gonna broil the toast. Okay, in a food processor. Now you need a food processor to do this. This one won but $10. I bought it a long time ago. People come, people go, but this food processor has still been here, okay? Throughout the years, down through the years. The food processor been good to me. Oh, down through the years. Ooh, the food processor been good to me. Okay, so we put some, some butter in there. I want you to put a couple of cloves of garlic in there as well. There's about three or four cloves, okay? I want you to put a little salt. Okay, just put a little pepper. I want you to put a little bit of olive oil in here. So this will move around good. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta make it moist, all right? You gotta make it moist if you want this to work. Okay, here we go. You chop this up together. Done, just like that, okay? We got a nice garlic butter spread, done. Now I went and picked up this baguette. You know I'm lying, I ain't picked up nothing. I, Instacart did this. We'll eat the whole thing. We can cut it in half. Save the rest for croutons or something, you know? Something good like that. Or vegan French toast. Okay, we made vegan French toast the other day. That video will be out soon. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this down the middle. You really, if you have a serrated knife, that works best. I, I clearly I don't have one because 
<laughs> I'm using that. All right. What I want you to do is take this garlic butter you done made. Okay? And I want you to smear on the garlic butter like this here. Okay? You really can't go wrong with this. See, this is the vegan I like. All that quinoa, you can have that. Okay? For the Bible declares that man cannot live by bread alone. So you add butter and garlic. Huh? That's the Bible. See? That is the Bible. The Lord has given us permission. Okay? For man cannot live by bread alone. All right? So you got to add the butter and the garlic on here with the olive oil to make that work, okay? Now, I know yesterday or the other day we did this, you guys were so nervous about me burning the bread. Well, this is going on broil. You ought to be nervous today too, okay? Please, we cannot burn this. I would be so shamed if I burned this bread in front of all of y'all. Okay, I would be so shamed. I would know what to do. So we're gonna put this on the broil, and we're gonna come back and get that in one second. Please do not, Lord, let me burn this bread in front of all these people watching me. Please, please, sir, have mercy, Jesus. All right, lasagna's in the oven. Let me look at this cheese. Let me look at this cheese and see what's going on with this cheese. Let me look at it and see. I don't know yet. I don't think, I don't think it's gonna melt, y'all. It tastes all right, but I don't think this cheese is made for melting, I'm sorry. I tried a new one, because I wanted to see if it was gonna melt. I got that one. You know, I got this other one too. Let me show you the other one I got. So that was provolone. This is cheddar. This is cheddar. Provolone, this is cheddar. And this one is field roast. This is... Uh, do not freeze. Okay, this is creamy original. I don't know what flavor this is. I don't know what, this is creamy original. So I wanted to see if it was going, let's see, it says, oh, melt onto one of our formed Perfect for grilled cheese. Oh, what if we switch it out real fast? Y'all want to do that? We can do whatever we want to do. What if we switch it out real fast? Hold on. Hold on, let's switch it. What y'all think? You want to switch it? The, the bread ain't burned that fast, y'all. Now, y'all, this ain't melted none. It's an oven, y'all, not a microwave. Yeah, this ain't really melted none. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Now, why don't we put one on top of it? Let's just test this out and see. Listen. Add the cream cheese? No. You add the cream cheese. I'm not gonna put the cream cheese on there, y'all. I'm just gonna put one slice and see if this is gonna melt good. They say perfect for grilled cheese. We're gonna see. All right, let's put one slice here and let's put one slice there. I'm gonna put this back in the oven. Dear Lord, please let that melt. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's see. All right, let's leave our bread. Okay, not yet. Okay, let's do this salad dressing real quick. Okay, let's do this salad dressing right fast. Let me get a uh, situation.
and you won't believe, you're not going to believe this, people. You're not going to believe this. Look at what I found. Huh? Look at what I found. I found the lid to the blender. Now, I ain't found the hole, the, the cap. I ain't found that. Okay? I didn't find that. But we're at least a little better off than what we was. Huh? Okay, come on. We're going to put a little piece of garlic in here. We're going to make a dressing from scratch. Maybe we should watch our bread so our bread don't burn. It smells good, but I'm nervous. Hold on. Let's hold on one second. The bread, we don't want the bread to burn. All right, this looks good to me. Take the bread out. to do is pray that you don't burn the bread and guess what you don't burn the bread okay I got some uh, garlic in here I'm going to put a spoonful this is whole grain mustard you can use whole grain you could use Dijon it don't matter okay cut you a good pinch of pepper a good pinch of salt and some sugar in here. Okay, please, I don't want to hear your mouth out of the sugar, people. It's what make lettuce taste good, sugar. Put you, a, put you a little sugar in here. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Okay, and then we're going to put some apple cider vinegar in here. That's, you need the sugar for because you got the apple cider vinegar. That's why you need this. I probably put too much vinegar in there. That's all right. That's all right. That's okay. Nobody gonna know. It's just us. Okay. Put this on. Put the olive oil. container of apple cider vinegar. Did you hear? Did you hear when it changed a little bit? Let me see about this cheese. Hold on, y'all. I don't know. What if I put the cheese in the broiler? What if I put the cheese? This ain't really gonna come out like we thought it was. Hold on, I'm putting the cheese in the broiler. I should have bought them shreds. Them shreds, they melt. This, I try something new. It ain't really melting. Let me see. Hold on. I'm going to put this in the broiler. I mean, this thing ain't live out. It's bubbling, ain't nothing melting. All right. Ah, we're going to see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're going to broil it for a second. Okay. You put the, this. look at this. This is your apple cider vinaigrette, people. Okay. From scratch. Apple cider vinaigrette. You see that? with a piece of garlic that didn't come out. Okay, apple cider vinegar. Okay, now what we can do is put together this salad right fast. Let's put together this salad right fast. I got me a pear. Let me grab a cucumber out of the refrigerator. And you get whatever salad greens you like, okay? Oh, let's check on this cheese. Yeah, it ain't really. It look like we just put it in there. It look like we just put it in. Oh, taste the dressing, y'all taste it. I already know it's good. I make this all the time. 
This ain't the problem. It's that cheese is the problem. Yeah, I make this all the time. I like this, as a matter of fact. This is my favorite. I can taste it. This ain't no problem. I don't have Beautiful. I taste that. I got it on broad. I got it on broad. Y'all just stop praying. All right? It's on broil. We're going to watch it. Make sure. We're going to watch it, Jesus. Okay, make sure it doesn't burn. Okay, come on. We're going to put our lettuce in here. And this got lettuce, radishes, all the good stuff. Because it's a salad. Salad supposed to be good for you. Let's let's check. Hold on. It ain't. I don't think it's ready. I don't think. Come on, we got to pray. I don't think that cheese is going. I don't think that cheese is ready. Let me grab a cucumber. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, Lord, we in trouble. Lord, we in trouble. I don't know, y'all. The vegan cheese slices, it may not... The vegan cheese slices may not be the move, right? The vegan cheese slices, the shredded cheese, might be the might be the move, but the vegan the vegan slices, I don't know, Doc. Okay, I'm just tossing on some cucumber on top of my um, salad, and I'm gonna put a few pieces of um. I got a few pieces of dried cranberry. I'm gonna throw that on top too, cause I like dried cranberry on my stuff. Okay, we got dried cranberry. So this is our salad. This is easy. Okay, okay, that's easy. We're gonna drizzle some of the dressing on top of the salad like this. This is your apple cider vinaigrette, completely vegan. And what I like about it is when you add that mustard, it make it nice and creamy like this. Okay, make it nice and creamy. I got a few little slices of pear because we're gonna be fancy. All right. And we're gonna put, I like juicy pear on the salad as well. I love a salad that's got a little piece of fruit, the little pop of sweetness, that's just my, that's my thing, okay? So we're just gonna slice, and you can use any, any pear you want. Okay, this is a Bartlett, and uh, it's gonna work out, okay? Let me show you this, I'm gonna put a little more uh, pepper on top, on there. Right, what do we got? Okay, so the salad is good. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Let's do this first. Why don't we cut this basil up first? <laughs> Look, I'm, <laughs> I'm procrastinating. Why don't we cut this basil up first? But we. <laughs> Like something to magically happen in the next four minutes. Hold on. Let's cut this basil up. Okay. Now listen, if you're just joining us, we're making lasagna with vegan cheese that ain't melting. Okay. Uh, you could join us on our Facebook group. It's called Vegan But With Soul. All right. You can join us over there. We'd love to have you. Or the mailing list for the recipes at DariusCooks.tv. Okay, let me show you what we got. I'm just gonna show you. Okay, look, I'm just gonna show you. Okay, you can hear it. Look, you can hear it bubbling. 
You see, you can see it bubbling, but um, you know, listen, this ain't you know, this vegan, okay? This vegan, you can see it's bubbling. You can see it look, it don't look that bad, okay? It don't look that bad. Let's put this basil on top, okay? You put basil on stuff, it's gonna be good, huh? It actually don't look too bad. It was too low under the broiler. It was the same distance as the bread, people. <laughs> it was the same exact distance as the bread, okay? I don't want to hear that. It was the same distance as the bread. The exact same distance as the bread. <laughs> as the bread. <laughs> okay, here go the garlic bread. All right, uh... Instagram, you finna cut off, so we'll see you later. I ain't gonna be on here that long, no way. I'm about to cut this bread up. I'm about to taste this. Let's see what we're working with. Instagram, you got 52 seconds. You could join me on, um, you know, Periscope or somebody else. Okay, let me dig in. Let me taste this. Bye, Instagram. Love you. Okay, here go the salad. Let me get some of the salad. The salad, I already know the salad is going to be good. You can't go wrong with the apple cider vinaigrette. Uh -huh. Okay? That's good. Okay? You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> okay. Look at this. Here is the vegan lasagna. Actually, I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you something. It actually don't look half bad once you break into it. Remember, we got that bechamel in there too. I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you something. It don't look. It don't look horrible. Okay, once you break up into it. And then we got the bread for dipping. You see how it's smoking? Let me see. Let me see. It, I gotta tell you, it don't look half bad. Okay, I should put a little basil on top, huh? Like that. All right, let me dig into it. Let me see. It's hot, though. I gotta tell you. Hold on, I gotta tell you. I know you're not gonna believe me. I have a friend here. Kim, come taste this. Kim! She's asleep. Come taste this. We're gonna put Kim on camera. Because you know you're not gonna believe me. But. You gotta believe him. Okay. No, it smells delicious, doesn't it? Okay, hold on. First of all, come around here so they can see you. This is my friend Kim. Okay. Hey y'all. This is the salad with the apple cider vinaigrette. Give us your honest opinion. That's good. Right? Mm -hmm. That's okay. This is your, this is vegan lasagna, Kim. First of all, how do, how do it look? How do it smell? It actually smells really good in here. Okay, it smells good. Yeah, it smells like pasta sauce, honestly. So, let's see. They're gonna see you on that camera. Oh. oh, wait. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, it's good. It's not bad, is it? I mean, ain't no, it ain't no sausage in it, mm, but it's got a little creamy. It's creamy. No, it's good. Where's the sauce all that? It's in there. It's smashed up in there. It's down in there. Oh no, this is a good job. It's cooked down. Okay, so this is good. There you go. Cause I know y'all don't be believing me. Okay, I know you don't believe me, and you think when I taste it, I fall all out. Oh my God, it's so good. But. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. She wants more. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I'm gonna take a picture of it. I know. That's why I don't want to just fucking. No, you're fine. She wants more. Okay. There you go. Thank you. There you go. Okay. I told you, vegan lasagna, and it's not just me. Yeah. It's delicious. The cheese didn't really melt like you wanted to. That's all right. That's all right. God is still glorified. Right. I'm live right now on all social media platforms. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> all right. It's good, right? It's good. Thank you. Now, the recipes will be at DariusCooks.tv. Uh, join the mailing list at DariusCooks.tv. Join the Facebook group, Vegan But With Soul. Vegan lasagna, vegan garlic bread, vegan salad with the apple cider vinaigrette, and the pears, people, and the pears. Who says you can't eat good and still be vegan? Huh? Two things I want to tell you as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time. I want to wish you happy cooking. Happy vegan cooking. From my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. Told you.